war shop. This is place the move for that. I like this from 2019. This is an interesting movie. I loved it ever since I saw it in theaters. But back then, I didn't think it was the best live action Disney remake. But now I do. And before Aladdin became a favorite live action Disney remake, Cinderella was for a very long time. But it's not anymore, but it's still a great movie. Now, the animated Aladdin movie is my favorite animated movie of all time. In my opinion, at this moment, the 2019 live action Aladdin movie comes very fucking close to the quality of the animated one. Yeah. And like I said before, I didn't feel this way since the beginning. I mean, I always loved the 2019 Aladdin movie. But I'm loving the movie more and more as time goes on. Now before we continue, I just would like to say that if you don't like the Disney Live Action Remix, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. It used to bother me that so many fucking people hate the Disney Live Action Remix. And I used to not be okay with that as I thought people were biased and were hating on them for the simple fact that they are Disney Remix. And that is kind of still true. But I still should respect their opinions. It is tough. It is very tough. But I am gonna fucking try. With that being said, if you hate the Disney remakes, that's completely fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But let's get to the main topic of the video. One character which I hated ever since I first saw the movie was Jafar. But to be honest with you, I have changed my opinion on the character since then. I've started to like this version of Jafar. I don't think Jafar is the weakest character of the movie anymore. I think it's Delia. Wait, what the hell was even her purpose in the movie? In one scene, she was the love interest for the GD, but that's about it. She didn't act much to the movie. Now, she's the weakest character of the movie, but I wouldn't say she is the worst. Honestly, I don't have a problem with any of the characters in this movie. The only problem I have character wise is that there are so barely got to do anything. And that's because he's one of my favorite characters of not just the original animated Aladdin movie, but of the entire Aladdin trilogy. But that's honestly a minor nitpick. But yeah, she is pretty good, but she is the biggest aspect of the movie for sure. Now don't get me wrong, the Jafar in the animated movie is superior in every way, without a doubt. But the 2019 Jafar is still great. Now what I really like about the GFR in this version is that he's a businessman. He's really more of a businessman than he was in the original animated movie. Honestly, it's not better than the animated one, but it certainly is interesting. So I did try something new with the character. I hadn't realized that before. But yeah, I do find this interesting. And honestly, it makes sense. I mean, after all, I want to manipulate people and this is really a good way to manipulate Aladdin successful, so I applaud him for that. I will admit there is one thing I hate about this version of Jafar even in 2023. That is when Jafar says, How about my food? When Aladdin asks him to give him his hand. Yeah, that line is still fucking stupid. There's nothing else to say really. But thankfully though, it's the only aspect of the 2019 Jafar which I still hate. And then later on is that scene where Aladdin is thrown to the water. Now I personally preferred but Rasul was the one who did it, but whatever. There's something interesting about this movie. In this movie, the GD uses magic to make sure that no one notices him. But by the way he acts, Jasmine does figure out that Prince Ali is really Aladdin. And Jafar finds it out very damn easily too. He touches Aladdin and throws to the water and says that if he survives, it can only be because of the genie. That is very cruel, but honestly, I like that. Yeah, this scene is different from the one in the animated movie. And I will say that in some ways it was improved and in some ways it was not. It's hard to explain, but I like the scene in this movie. Oh, and this movie also gets very dark in one place. More so than the animated one did. Jafar actually threatens to fucking kill the Sultan and is willing to go through with it. Wow, what a ruthless asshole. And he does actually almost kill him if Jasmine doesn't abide. She does, she does. Now the change from the animated Aladdin movie which I find most interesting is that Aladdin tricks Jafar into wishing to become a genie. Except this time it's more tricky. Jafar doesn't actually wish to become a genie, instead, he wishes for something that he can only gain from being a genie. He wishes to be the most powerful being in the world, and that applies to a fucking genie. So he becomes a genie. 
Honestly, this is another one of those scenes where I can't decide if it's done better in the animated movie or the live action movie. Scenes in both versions are fucking great. So yeah, I can't really decide, but it's done well in both versions. So, that's basically it. Thank you for watching, to your fantastic day.